Hello guys, doing some small introduction into Unreal on Linux and uh, this is how it looks like when you start up. First thing you have to understand that uh, Unreal Engine comes with a good deal of data already in it, in it and you can see that in uh, these presets over here. And um, also you have to understand that uh, Unreal allows you to develop games for desktop, for console and for mobile. Of course, you can set additional things. Uh, you can go into C++ additional programming. So basically, uh, Unreal is a very nice engine to work in. I'm very happy to see this on uh, Linux. And uh, for instance, basically, if you want to go, I don't know, third person shooter. Let me just see. Yeah, this one is nice. Okay, you can just go and uh, start with a certain set of presets and work with that. Now, of course, the thing you have to understand, uh, Unreal requires a good deal of RAM memory, so if you have about 8, 12 uh, RAM, it will, it will work okay. However, if you have something lower than that, I do not suggest you download and try to work with it. Of course, uh, working with Unreal, uh, you have to understand that the program in, in itself does not have any modeling capabilities, so you're limited in uh, model, what you can do in modeling. However, whatever you create in 3D Blender, you can apply and uh, import in Unreal. This is a big bonus for anybody who wishes to use this and uh, work. Of course, uh, later on, once I'm done with Blender tutorials, uh, I'll try to jump on uh, Unreal and uh, do my projects in Unreal Engine so you guys can follow and eventually download any game I create. Uh, of course, uh, Unreal is free to use, free to create, uh, however, uh, do, do be advised that if you're creating any game or any product from Unreal uh, that is chargeable, uh, you have to pay a 5% fee, I believe, uh, and this is in contract with Epic Games. So basically, before you do pu publishing or something like that, you have to consult uh, with Epic Games and uh, do the licensing and everything. However, uh, like I said, Unreal Engine is uh, free to use for your home um, tutorial making, for video making, for those things. Uh, that basically you're, you're planning to set on uh, YouTube, uh, you are free to use it. However, uh, if you wish to create a 3D movie or something like that and charge for it or something in those lines, you have to be very, very uh, cautious in terms that you have to contact Epic and uh, see the licensing with them. So, if you create something in Blender, uh, the license is that anything that comes out of the blender is your product in a way so any mesh that you create and use in Unreal is basically your it falls under your copyright so this is a legal just a legal advice whatever you create in blender it is yours because it if it comes out as dot blender or something like that, uh, basically a file, closed file, it's considered your content, so nobody can, in a way, steal it and go unpunished and so forth. However, uh, if you create something in Blender, you're also free to give that uh, to anybody to use. So this is uh, on your own, as one would say, uh, <laughs> however you wish to be. Uh, for Unreal, whatever you import in Unreal, technically is yours because the licensing goes that you are using a product of Epic Games and uh, whatever you have exported that whichever you export is considered yours uh, under copyright and so forth however you are doing this in collaboration with Epic so basically you're paying them their fee because they allow you to, to use their tool uh, however if you're more interested into see how is this regulated 
uh, please do contact Epic Games. I'm not a representative for, for Epic Games. I'm not uh, their legal advisor. So I'm just saying that if you wish to publish anything in Unreal, do consult uh, Epic Games via email or some type of a contact. I do not uh, wish to give any disillusions that you are free to use Unreal and uh, you do not have to answer to anybody. Unreal is a free tool to use, yes, however, there are a couple of restrictions, again, I have to be sure, this is in a way a disclaimer, so there are no misillusions or misinformation and so forth, you are free to use Unreal on Linux, on uh, Windows, and to create, however, if you wish to publish anything, you have to consult Epic Games. I just want to make sure that you got me right on that one I, I didn't get something wrong I didn't say something so do be careful with this unlike blender blender is different type of program uh, blender uh, does not need that much uh, big level of how should I say confirmation from uh, blender foundation because blender on itself is under I do apologize. <coughs> Blender uh, on itself is on a different licensing agreement, which means that whatever you produce in Blender is your content and it's basically copyrighted uh, to you. So the only difference uh, where Blender uh, user agreement differs is in uh, game engine or game exports. Uh, you have to consult uh, Blender to s or their page to see what's the licensing issue here because there are a couple of ways of how should I say whatever you game you create uh, under Blender you need additional uh, licensing to be done in order to pro pro do a protection of it and so forth so in a way do, do be careful with uh, Blender games yes if they are free they are free to use by anybody, so uh, nobody is restricted, and so forth. And uh, if you want to charge for them, there here we can see the difference. Now, as you can see, uh, my Unreal Engine has loaded, and uh, of course, it has a lot of already set data. If I went in to create a small mm, empty project, this will be a lot faster. However, as you can see, I'm having a full game ran, and uh, you can go and test this. I believe P is for player mode, or no, just give me a second. Play mode, I forgot. Uh, it was play from here, okay. No. Say, look, just give me a second. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, play mode. Uh, I'm just doing a small test. Now, of course, uh, I'm not doing anything special, I believe. I can shoot using mouse or something. No information were set. Okay, no fine. So, as you can see, you can use Unreal in uh, Linux and so forth. And uh, you can create games. Now, uh, you believe, you can see that uh, this is slow on my machine. Uh, currently, I'm not, uh, it is not everything is optimized. I didn't do go, I didn't go inside the game and uh, <laughs> working on the optimization and so forth. So, yeah, uh, and it's basically still loading. So, uh, you have to be very patient with uh, Unreal because it's loading a ton of data and uh, in order not to have any issues I suggest uh, using about 12 gigabytes of RAM and uh, using at least 380 or something similar to that so that's 960 minimum of graphics so for Nvidia or in case of AMD use at least the 380 however I'm planning on getting uh, RX 480 for myself eventually and uh, I'm going to work 
once I get that I'll be working then uh, in uh, Unreal. Now of course one big thing to mention uh, about Unreal Engine is that Unreal Engine uh, can be optimized with Vulkan in mind which is going to be my primary <laughs> go-to engine or API as one will say uh, API is proper term so basically I'll, any game I will create eventually will be optimized for Vulkan uh, no DirectX, DirectX 12 only Vulkan so yeah not only Vulkan I do apologize it will basically be OpenGL and Vulkan if I'm I believe I have an OpenGL option here. Today it's not important to work in uh, Unreal 4 and uh, eventually I will work, I will optimize this a lot. I just installed this and uh, still didn't do much with settings and so forth so do be careful, do, do consider that uh, some stuff here is not optimized not working at its full power and so forth. So, what do I need to say more? Uh, well, as you can see, this is Unreal in Linux, and uh, for instance, I wish to save this project. You can do that. Okay, just give me a second. And uh, basically, this is in a way build cook and package a game for Linux platform so as you can see this is done in Manjaro and uh, of course you can do this in um, Windows there are no, no big differences and so forth so yeah uh, the thing that I wish to add uh, the difference between Unreal 3 and Unreal 4 is in a way a lot bigger than uh, I previously thought and uh, there are a lot of settings that you can use however keep in mind that the better the best way for you to import anything into Unreal is to create it for instance in Blender because Blender is a modeling tool Unreal Engine is an Unreal Engine it allows you physics additional options and so forth however it is an engine so yeah uh, don't know do not know what to add more if you have any additional questions on how to work with Unreal I do apologize those questions will have to wait for quite some time because I will not uh, be able to work in Unreal for about two three months because uh, I'm planning to get my new configuration AMD configuration and uh, I was hoping to get a new graphics card a new monitor and so forth so yeah, it's going to be a nice machine, about 700 bucks with monitor, so I believe it should work fine uh, because uh, you have to realize that for game creation you need at least 12 gigabytes of RAM to work properly, at least. Uh, and you need at least RX 480 to, because RX 480 is currently the lowest uh, and the best in a way graphics card on the market because it is vo uh, optimized for OpenGL 4.5 it is optimized for Vulkan, it is optimized for DirectX 12 and uh, in a way it's cheap and it does the job perfectly because you can get it for 230 bucks uh, for 8 gigabytes of RAM which is what you need and uh, However, you have to keep in mind that any project you create in Unreal uh, can be a collab, which means you can collaborate with a couple of people. You can basically test your machine in that way because uh, you can uh, do a lot of stuff. You have to realize Unreal Engine is very, uh, very good and very professional <laughs> uh, gaming platform, gaming engine, and uh, gaming engine. And uh, keep in mind that. Uh, it requires a good deal of work and a good deal of preparation before you start to work in it. Now, uh, can you use this on a weaker machine? I would not suggest that because in the end uh, the only time you, you wish to work on a weaker machine is if you're planning to publish for a low-grade platform. So, 
and on the other hand if you wish to publish for a low grade platform for instance PC, Linux and Mac to work at the same time Blender is for you because it does not require that much of resource to work with and uh, it has a nice uh, inbuilt game engine and so forth and uh, it's a quick workflow, easy workflow in Blender and uh, eventually for anybody who uh, understands how Unreal works they will always say that Unreal is easy because in a way differences between Blender and Unreal uh, on the surface are very small as you can see it's similar UI, similar uh, settings uh, naming is similar <coughs> And in a way I like that because uh, that allows me to work in Blender, test everything and basically uh, because it's working in Blender and it's working fine I can easily import that into Unreal and do not have a big fear will it work. So yeah, keep that in mind, do be cautious of course what you do, uh, again disclaimers do be careful what you do, how you optimize, if you wish to know more, there are a lot of people who are doing a lot of tutorials on Unreal 4 and uh, better than me, you can go check them out and uh, yeah, just to show you how Unreal 4 works and looks in Linux. Hope, I hope uh, I helped you guys a bit and I'll see you in the next video.